finally tonight, the place of Sir Henry Cooper in the affections of the British people was there for all to see today at his funeral service. Fans who'd taken the day off work and show business stars who'd taken him to their hearts turned out to remember a giant and a gentleman of boxing. Richard Pallow reports. A solitary boxing glove marked the farewell to Sir Henry Cooper. But as ever, applause and admiration was never far away. Few funerals could attract such a celebrity roll call and more famous faces than an 80s edition of World of Sport or Grandstand. He did never malign the opponent like they do today, you know, where they're ranting and screaming at each other. He was just a gentleman, and I, I remember going to one or two weigh-ins when he was still fighting, and the opponent, perhaps from America or something, would start, you know, being aggressive, and Henry just sat there and smiled, the gentleman he was. But when he got in the ring, he did the business. Perhaps that's why he remained friends with so many opponents, most notably Muhammad Ali, who, when he was Cassius Clay, Cooper so famously knocked to the canvas. World titles eluded him, but the British boxer won pretty much every other belt on offer. And his aftershave adverts knocked a few people out too. And after a good workout, nothing beats, beats. the great, great smell of brute. Mm -hmm. Here, you try the muscle on my act. Yeah, I worked with him with a brute advert some 30 years ago now, and from the minute I met him, I, I just felt so comfortable with him. He was, uh, he made me feel at home, he, and he, he did that with everybody, and that's what came out in the uh, service today. Cooper was the first boxer to be knighted, a tribute to his demeanour as much as his deadly left hook. He would always give you everything he had, which is what he did in the ring, of course. He, he was a, he was a fight, fighter and a great fighter, but with that, underneath that, a gentle, a gentle giant. Our Henry, surely proud of their tribute. Richard Palo, ITV News.